Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to American Defender. So, this video is not going to be too long. I don't want to take too much of your time. I had told you guys before about wanting to relocate the bolt catch on the BP-12. And, well, I have done just that. Okay? And I wanted to do it with no bolts, no screws, no permanent you know, modifications to the stock or the gun at all. This can all be just taken off, cleaned up, and you would never even know it was there. Okay. So let me show you that it works. All right. I'll show you with uh, an empty chamber, and then we'll put a we'll put a magazine with a spent round in it, and and show you it works. And let me show you how it works. It's just like a bad lever. So this lever right here. Your finger goes through and just hits that, and boom, there it is, okay? And I've probably done that 150, 200 times already, and these blocks ain't moving, all right? So that works. Now, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to attach this rod here to this uh, bolt release back here so that not only will it release it, but you can use it to set it. I want it to be able to do both functions because what this will do is actually gain a function. Um, it will gain you the ability to set your uh, uh, bolt release with your firing hand or your or your uh, non-supportive hand. Okay, um, as it is right now, when you go to set that, you got to pull with the left hand and then. Kind of hold everything back, come over with your right hand with the gun pressed on your chest like this, and come over like so, hope it catches, and then, you know, or, or stick an empty magazine in it and rack it and then pull the magazine back out. Um, so it does work on a loaded mag, I'll show you that. It, however, does not work on an empty mag. Why? Well, the reason it doesn't work on an empty mag is just because of all the spring pressure that you're dealing with from the magazine also it because of the fact that like if you see it look on the front here this is the actual place where the bolt catch activates on your follower okay and when you go to press on that lever normally you ever notice that it's kind of hard to press well, it's because these magazines because what happens is you're pressing on the very front of the follower you see that it's tilting all right it tilts this little guy in the back here kind of catches up on the top and then you give it enough pressure and then it goes down. All right. So this is what's locking you up and you're fighting all that spring pressure. All right. There's just really no way around that. It's even difficult with your thumb. All right. So once you put a round in it though, however, that's no longer a problem. All right. So again, like I said, it's a spent shell. You can see it's just hollow. Uh, the, the primer has been ding you can see the ding right there on the primer all right and now it's not a problem it's no different than if the mag did not exist okay uh, and you don't have to press real hard it's just a light touch and it and it, and it closes it down all right uh, now getting these getting these shells like this now it can be uh, a little bit of a pain in the butt sometimes but it does work all right as you see right there, it does work. Uh, the idea is a proven success. So, at least the concept is. You know, the idea, the concept, same thing. Uh, you might be like, well, what if I have like five rounds in there or ten rounds in there? Now, I don't like doing this, so don't do what I'm about to do. Uh, my safety, let me turn my safety on. Okay, safety is on. I have five rounds right here. And I'm going to show you it makes no difference how many rounds are in this magazine. Uh, it's the same amount of pressure okay, uh, that you need to apply to that lever to drop it. So there's one round. We're using some buckshot here, some high brass buck. Uh, two rounds, three rounds, four rounds, and now five rounds. All right, so that's roughly about a half a mag for this nine round mag. Um, we'll go ahead and lock it back. All right, so like you were on your last round, lock open. And by the way, I have taken it out and shot it already. 
I have done that. I've, I've put another 100 rounds through it. And it didn't shake this loose or anything. All right. But when you go you pop that in there, as you can see right there, it, it works just fine. All right. So finger off the trigger. And we'll go ahead and pull this up and out. All right. We'll lock it back. Make it safe. We are clear. All right. And, and I'm setting it right on that lever. All right. Right now it's on my chair. And I'm setting it on that lever. And uh, it's not going to bother it. It's not going to hurt it. So there was five rounds in the magazine. It makes no difference because at that point in time, again, you're not fighting the spring in the magazine anymore. You're fighting the bolt tension, you know, the, the tension from the bolt spring and all that, which is exactly what you would be fighting if you had an empty mag. Right. So it works. Um, again, I will be kind of expanding on the idea. I will be these these hinges here, which are really simple. All right, uh, I will put this up on Thingiverse for those of you that would like to print these out. I'm going to give the idea away. All right, for free. I'm not selling this. Okay, it's not for sale. Um, YouTube doesn't like the fact that I like to give away ideas like this, especially in this particular topic, but I really don't give a shit what YouTube thinks. All right? I'm still following your community guidelines, even though I disagree with them, and I'm not intending to follow them. So, you know, take a flying bite of my ass, YouTube. All right? So, uh, there it is. BP-12, bad lever, for free. See if any of those AR-15 guys will give you anything for free. Uh, I'll give you guys more instructions later on. Uh, probably on Rumble. Because they, you know, won't ding me. Uh, so you need to follow me over there. Same name on the channel. Uh, and uh, I'll show you actually how to put it together. I'll print out another set and make another one. And hell, I might even give it away. Alright, I might just say, here... You know, we'll have a drawing. Maybe I'll make up five or six of them and say we'll have a drawing and say here, you know. Uh, the way I have it attached to the gun is uh, T-Rex double-sided tape and super glue. A little bit on, on the part, a little bit on the gun, you know. Put the T-Rex tape on, put a little super glue on it. And the reason I'm using the T-Rex tape is it's the perfect thickness to get this rod up away from this screw and these screws and still let all of your... your your screws and everything go through. Also, when you put your pins in, make sure this side is the screw, this side is your pin. Otherwise, you can't take it out. All right, you'll have to take that thing off every time. So your pins will come out this way, the long piece goes this way, and your little screw will come out on this side. Okay? So with that, I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll have that STL up soon. You can get on over there to uh, Thingiverse and uh, you know download it and play with it all you want. Doesn't matter which way the block goes; of the same size. Uh, I like the BP12 marked one towards the back. And uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm coming up with solutions for us, folks. Next thing: mag release, charging handle. Those are the next two things I'm going to attack. With that, God bless you. God bless America. God bless Donald J. Trump. And uh, I will see you on the flip. Good night, everybody.